Well, we're a couple of weeks into the new year, and the folks down at the local YMCA hope 2012 is going to be a big one for them. Here to tell me more is Walt Laracy from the YMCA. Walt, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me again. And I appreciate the haircut. Yeah, it looks Jam good. Up. I'm glad you were able to come over and we could do that. <laughs> that didn't really happen, but it is funny, at least to me. All right, well, what's been going on down at the Y? I know you guys have been busy. We, we are busy, and, you know, something I want to say is that there's two YMCAs here in Tuscaloosa. Mm -hmm. You have the downtown branch, and then you have the Benjamin Barnes branch. The Benjamin Barnes branch is run by a lady named Lakita Smith, and she is absolutely wonderful and i'm going to talk just for a second on what they have going on mm -hmm. right now yesterday started their youth first campaign ah. you may have heard it called strong kids in the past now it is the youth first campaign as our priority is to put youth first mm -hmm. um, not just to make them strong but to put youth first that campaign will run through march 6th if you want to make a donation to the youth first campaign for benjamin barnes I highly recommend and suggest you do so. The funding goes to scholarships in after school. It goes to operations. It goes to helping kids play sports. Really anything dealing with youth first. The, the goal is $35,000. And in their kickoff day yesterday, they raised $4,000. Wow, that's yes. a good chunk, all right. It, it is a great chunk. Um, they, held, they held that kickoff yesterday. UPS made a very strong donation, Alabama Credit Union, and always the United Way were there right. in force for the Benjamin Barnes Branch YMCA. They had 200 people there yesterday. That is a great turnout. Now, when you talk about scholarships, these are scholarships that uh, for the kids to be able to go to the Y and participate in all the activities, right? Correct. And nobody gets turned away from the YMCAs in Tuscaloosa mm -hmm. because of an inability to pay. Right. We do scholarships and financial assistance not only for kids in sports, but after school, summer camp, even memberships at the YMCA. Another thing is they're doing a men and boys breakfast. And Chief Anderson, who I just saw in the commercial, is going to be the guest speaker. <laughs> That's February 11th at 9 a.m. at West Lawn Middle School. It's $10 a ticket, and anyone is welcome to come as long as they're a guy. There so you if you're a father or a son then you can come, Chief Anderson, the speaker, February 11th at 9 a.m. And that should cover everybody. It's it, male. Absolutely. <laughs> West Lawn Middle School is where All right. You got anything else? We're, we're running low on time. Um, just Wise Acres, mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity is refacing it. If you know anybody that wants to come volunteer in Tuscaloosa, contact Habitat for Humanity, and they'll put you on Wise Acres, which is 70 acres of land, creeks, and all that. You can volunteer your time in Tuscaloosa if you're from out of town. All right, and folks at home can give the Y a call, and they can give more information on that, too. Absolutely. All right, all right. Walt, thanks so much for being with us. Sorry Thank I ran you. out of time. I guess we'll talk right. about the haircut too much. I'll see you in a few weeks. All right, <laughs> you will, you will. <laughs> you can find out more about the YMCA of Tuscaloosa County online at ymcatuscaloosa.org or by calling 205-345-9622.